Chen, the grand prize winner is a two, of the 2014 Clio Laser Focus World Innovations Award is Daylight Solutions, which is being honored for the development of Sp Spiro, the first laser-based infrared microscope that delivers high-resolution images over a wide field of view in a compact, broadly tunable turnkey instrument with rapid live mode imaging at 30 frames a second. Spiro's superior performance enables new applications in a variety of fields. These include cancer diagnostics, uh, drug discovery, materials research, and semiconductor defect analysis. Paul Larson is a president and chief operating officer of Daylight Solutions, and he's here to accept the award. Hi, this is John Wallace, Senior Editor at Laser Focus World at Clio 2014, and I'm at the Daylight Solutions booth. Daylight Solutions has won the Clio Laser Focus World Innovation Award Grand Prize. I'm standing here with Matt Barry, Business Development Manager, who is going to start off by describing the product, which is called Spiro. Sure, this is Spiro, our uh, infrared laser-based microscopy platform. It's uh, based around our tunable mid-infrared laser technology, quantum cascade lasers, that we've developed over the past several years. And we've coupled that with two other enabling technologies, uh, a series of mid-infrared refractive objectives, and uh, uncooled microbolometer camera technology. So this is a large piece of equipment. Um, obviously, it's not just the quantum cascade laser. What, what else is in there? That's correct. So the, the quantum cascade laser is underneath. It's a very broad coverage, so it's one of our larger size lasers. Uh, but up the back is a, a high precision stage, some networking, computer electronics, data acquisition, and then the cameras up top. Is this uh, an in-house design? Or? So it's all designed in-house, yes. So uh, basically from the ground up, you know, we, we started by trying to couple a QCL laser with an FTR microscope learn pretty quickly that that doesn't work all that well, so we designed this from the ground up, uh, like I said, with the laser, the optics, and the camera technology. Okay. And what uses are you aiming for? What, you know, so what the customer there's a host for? of applications for uh, infrared hyperspectral imaging. Um, we have a particular interest in the life sciences, but we're looking also into uh, pharmaceuticals, forensics, um, materials inspection, semiconductor, those types of things. And the QCL provides the illumination. That's correct. Right. Um, what's the advantage of a QCL over other forms of illumination? Yeah, so for one, it's a, it's a tunable technology. So we can illuminate our samples with the discrete frequencies of light across the whole mid infrared fingerprint region. And the second is it's uh, orders of magnitude brighter than other light sources in infrared technology, including synchrotron facilities. Mm -hmm. um, how does the operator use it? Or is there just one mode where you collect the information or, or the other modes? Yeah, so there's multiple operating modes. Um, it supports transmission and reflection measurements. And then um, the two kind of new imaging modes that this uh, instrument enables is one that we call live imaging. So you can just illuminate your sample at a discrete mid infrared wavelength and look at the absorbance response in real time. So you can imagine looking for defects analysis or certain contents in tissues such as lipids. Um, the second imaging uh, modality is what we call sparse data collection. So rather than collecting the whole band of infrared light, you can select a series of wavelengths that you care about and probe those very, very quickly on, on the order of seconds. Okay, so let's take just a quick look at sure. the screen. Okay, so what you see here is our, our data display screen in our software called ChemVision. So this is a, a hyperspectral data cube that we're visualizing in this panel here. And what you can see is you can um, scan through the different, basically, slices of the cube to see the difference in the response of the sample across the band. So here is a very high absorbance peak, and here I can move off of that peak. And what we've done here in this panel is apply that spectral response to color. So this is what we call a false color or digitally stained image. So in this case, the, the pinkish color applies to this band of the spectrum here. The green is this band here. And so you can sort of visualize that spectral content um, in real time. And what's shown here is the, uh, the actual mid-infrared spectral response for various regions in the tissue, and you can see the differences in the response for different sections here. Okay, thanks Matt for the demo. Thank you. And congratulations to Daylight Solutions. Thank you um, very much. People will surely want to visit your website. Sure. What is that? You can find uh, all the information you want at daylightsolutions.com slash Spiro, S-P-E-R-O. Thank you. Thank you.